100% Chelsea, Chelsea 3, Roma 3, Nico. What do you think? I thought it was a good result, to be honest. I thought, I think a bit of perspective is required here. Um, we're on the back of two losses in the Premier League. People are questioning, why are we not playing to the same standard as last year? It's a very simple answer, because we're playing more games than last year. We're playing midweek as well as the weekend, which we didn't have to do last year. The players on the weekend refresher last year. So, of course, they're going to struggle more. You're not going to see that same level of flair as you did last year. In terms of the actual game tonight, I thought, given that we were coming in for a lot of criticism from fans, from the press, to go 2-0 up in the way we did, absorbing the pressure, absorbing the attack, and then making it count, you know, getting the attack and actually making that attack count, brilliant. The one thing I would take as a negative from tonight, you should not throw away a 2-0 lead at home. Roma are a good team. I'm not taking anything away from them. And on that note, the positives to take away from this game, they're big game players. Okay, Dzeko put in a performance. Can't hate on Dzeko. But where was the ninja? David Luiz, until he was injured, along with Chimoy Bakayoko, were imperious in midfield. Because Nangolan, you, if you watch him, he was a clever player. He wasn't... Uh, in, a, in the zone, he was drifting all the time, a lot like Eden Hazard does. And they, were, they had a good telepathic communication, those two, on who's going to mark him at what point. So I thought they did a brilliant job of actually shutting down Roma's attack. Um, shouldn't have given 2-0 away, but now hear this. If, we'd, if the game had ended 3-2, then there's cause for concern, then everyone's screaming, maybe Conte out, which you shouldn't be doing, by the I way. Didn't, I'm not saying Conte out, you're making me sound like a dick. No, 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 he didn't, but you're asking, you're asking ironic because, questions. Because don't you, ask. Yes, but don't even ask these questions because there's too many people out there who will jump on the bandwagon. I don't want to turn into a Venga out beta version, please. Sorry, we're not, we're not, we're not Arsenal fan TV, despite what many people may think. Respect. You know, we are, they respect the channel, but we're a yeah, different yeah, brand. Respect. But no, look, if the game had ended 3 2 tonight, I still would have been here saying, look, it's Roma, good team, right? It ended 3 3. We shouldn't have given 2 0 away, but we fought back. We fought back. That's something we haven't shown in the last two games. Like, I'll be the first to say, and I missed the positivity. Against Palace, we didn't have any fight. We didn't have any backbone. We did tonight. We could have easily dropped our heads, gone down 3-2. No, we fought. And for all the criticism to William, that team looked better after he came on. Just don't get out there. The last five minutes, the last ten minutes, the team looked better. That's not discredit to anyone. I'm not saying anyone who was on before him did badly. William is a great player. Can we please stop hating on him? It's, it's doing my nut in a bit, but I thought good result. Shame to not get a win. Should have ended 2-1 like you predicted. I think that would have been a fair result, to see, be honest. Do you see what happens though when I do predictions? This is why I don't do predictions. Off camera, innit? <laughs> uh, I don't care. I don't do predictions, full stop. But yeah, but anyway, guys. Look, if you told me, because we were all worried at the beginning of this season when we got the Champions League draw, right? Atletico, Roma, that's a tough group. If you told me after three games, we're top of the group with seven points, take that. Happy. Happy. Nothing to add, mate. I think that's a, it was a good result. Now let's go win in Rome. Simples.